Hi guys and welcome back to the video series let's build the preamplifier using Aliexpress parts and on this video we're gonna do uh, run a test on this um, Akufei C3850 preamplifier which I built in the previous video so I have everything almost ready and we're gonna do an audio test and oscilloscope test so without further ado let's begin So to run the sound test I'm gonna use my class A amplifier which I designed by myself so it's a schematic uh, invented by myself. I really like the sound of this one, sounds really natural so that's why I choose this amplifier to run the test. So first test it will gonna be putting the signal just on the amplifier and then we're gonna use the same uh, sample sound putting the preamplifier on the top of the amplifier to see if it's changing anything so how you can see here I already set up the speakers on the front of the microphones and here we go in the table everything is power on so let's play a sound
can see underneath here, we have the oscilloscope ready set up. The preamplifier is here, is powered on with the dual 15 volts, and we are drawing a current of uh, 60 milliamps in total. And uh, this is the output, which is connected to both channels on, on my oscilloscope. So yellow is one channel, and uh, red is the other channel then i have a signal generator connected on the input over here you can see if i touch here it should uh, give me some signal that is not giving me but anyway let's turn on the signal generator let's set up to one kilohertz to measure the the voltage output that can give us and let's give an auto set to the oscilloscope okay so this is one kilohertz and we have a voltage uh, peak to peak 4.4 and let's see the maximum that can do this uh, preamplifier by the way as a load resistor i have 50 kilometer potentiometers over there so let's increase until we find the clipping so i can see there is the clipping so let's see when properly the clip starts over there so it's giving like an output of 9 volts rms with the peak to peak 28 volts which is really cool it's really amplifying the signal as a preamplifier really really good so now let's because we have um, now it's 10 volts per division so let's bring to 5 volts per division and let's uh, set up this one to 5 volts uh, 5 volts peak to peak over there or 4 volts let's have a look so now is uh, 2 volts per division let's set up to 5 volts per division so I'm gonna set up to 5 volts per division so 5 volts per division over there 5 volts per division over there and let's go to to a peak to peak 10 volts peak to peak let's keep it here in 10 volts peak to peak and uh, now let's run uh, frequency response so i'm gonna back down to 20 hertz let's start with the 20 hertz so an auto set over here at 20 hertz and at 20 hertz we have uh, let's bring it down to exactly 10 volts peak to peak okay so here we have the same uh, 10.20 peak to peak so 10 volts 20 peak to peak and we're gonna start with the 20 hertz and we're gonna look to the peak to peak voltage to keep it the same up to maximum uh, audio frequency range so let's go to increase the frequency so 30 hertz the same 40 hertz the same output 50 hertz the same output 60 hertz the same output 70 hertz 80 hertz 90 hertz 100 hertz and looks like until here is uh, everything flat i'm gonna go with an auto set and now let's go up to 200 hertz the output is still flat 500 hertz still we have the same output which means it's really good preamplifier i really like how it's uh, doing so far 600 700 800 900 1 kilohertz and still we are in the flat zone 2 kilohertz 3 kilohertz looks like it's a bit uh, one channel channel two looks like uh, it's losing a bit of uh, amplitude four kilohertz five kilohertz let's do an auto set and we are still in the same range over there and let's increase six kilohertz seven kilohertz and uh, output is still flat nine kilohertz still flat 10 kilohertz is still flat let's do an auto set over here 11 kilohertz 12 kilohertz 13 kilohertz 14 kilohertz 15 kilohertz 16 kilohertz still flat 
17 kilohertz still flat, 18 kilohertz still flat, 19 kilohertz still flat, 20 kilohertz, 21, 22, 23, 24 kilohertz, 25 kilohertz, and again the channel 2 is losing a bit of the amplitude, I can see there is fluctuating between 9.8 and 10, and let's see when it's starting to rule, rule off, so I'm gonna go quick, quick to the maximum frequency which is starting ruling off both channels so let's have a look when that was gonna happen we are 100 kilohertz right now and it's still flat until here that's really cool man become a radio over here in this frequency <laughs> yeah i never seen uh, uh, this is my little boy over here next to me I think start ruling off both channels, yeah, see, both channels start ruling off, so a preamplifier which keep it flat up to this frequency, yeah, you can see there is 280 kilohertz, I'm pretty sure it's a really good one, yeah, I'm really happy with how this performs. From all the preamplifier from this video series, which I build, I find this one the best performing one. Also in the sound on my ears, I feel that the, put more details on the sound so you can feel the details of the sound better than the other ones so i don't know let me know in the comment down below what do you think about the sound do you find any difference between when i injected straight away to the amplifier and uh, if there is any changes when i could connected this one on the front yeah please let me know in the comment down below what do you how you feel the sound is there is any changes on it i want to know also from you guys and definitely i'm going to choose this one for my final project just now i need to find uh, because the case that I want to use for this one has a uh, potentiometer for mid, for bass and for uh, highs to tone control so I need to find a passive one like that I can put in the front of the preamplifier because this preamplifier amplifies a lot of the signal so definitely through the tone control we're gonna lose some uh, dBs on the signal but this one you're gonna be able to boost it back because uh, uh, we can see 28 volts peak to peak it's really really good so yeah if you are interested on uh, all the tools that i use in this video check the links on the description down below i'm gonna put everything from the oscilloscope i use from the power supply which i use and uh, from the signal generator which i use for this one and also the kit itself the link you are gonna find in the description down below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a like Please subscribe and activate the notification bell to don't miss uh, my next videos when I'm gonna start uh, putting on the chassis all the parts to build a proper preamplifier. And until the next video guys, have a good day and bye bye!